Okay, so what, what's going on with this one? I'm going to rewrite it as y equals the in, in fact, just make it kind of familiar. Um, and even the x and the plus 1, that's okay. We know the plus 1, that's going to be my y-intercept at 0, 1. But what's going on with the slope here? It's, it's negative 0 0.25. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that into a fraction on my calculator. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to type in negative 0 0.25. And I, I'm going to push the enter button. Okay, so I'm going to push equals. And on my calculator, it just says, oh, you want zero, negative 0 0.25? No problem. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this button. It's just directly above the enter button. It's a double arrow button. And that will change that decimal into the fraction 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth. Okay, so actually, my slope, it's better to see this is negative 1 fourth. And you see, also, in this equation, I've put the negative, I've associated the negative with the numerator. That's because I need to know um, where that negative should go. And it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I just always choose to associate the negatives with the numerator. So my slope m is negative 1 fourth. Since this is still rise over run, which is important, uh, the rise is negative, which means it's going to go down 1. The run is positive, which I always like, which tells me I should always be going to the right. So in graphing this, we need the, the y-intercept first at 0, 1, which is here. 0, 1. Uh, but from there, I've got to use the slope to find the other points. Now, again, it's down 1 and then to the right 4. So that's the next point. I'm doing this by hand, so I'm going to show all the points that I can. So there's my next one. And I can copy this pattern left, 4, up 1 left four up one as well and then all I got to do at this point is connect the dots I've done worse lines in fact I've done lots of worse lines so but that green one that green line right there is the 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 graph line equation form of this equation I'm gonna emphasize this once again every single ordered pair on this green line would make this equation a true statement for example 0 1 makes it true because you replace the x with 0, you get a y value that's 1. Or this point, let's look at this one, 8, negative 1. If you replace this x with 8, then you would have a, a y value that corresponds to it as negative 1. So all these ordered pairs, even the ones in between the points, would make this equation a true statement. 